Hello walkers and welcome to Colorado Springs, Colorado. We are looking westward, I think that's Pikes Peak, and we are on Pikes Peak Street or Boulevard. Um, I don't know a lot about Colorado Springs as much of the towns in Colorado that I've been walking, but we'll do our best. Uh, my name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker, your virtual travel guide on our walk through Colorado Springs. And it is 25 degrees Fahrenheit, negative, what is that, negative 10 degrees Celsius? I just looked it up, negative four degrees Celsius. Um, and it's a beautiful sunny day, not any wind to speak of. And I did a little drive around when I got here. It's about 8.45 in the morning, late February. And this is a really cool town, really cool city, beautiful city. And so we're probably gonna break this up into a couple, we're not gonna break this up. We're gonna take a couple separate walks at least as we explore. And I'm kind of excited about it, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna go to this side. This is the post office over here. And um, we are coming up on Nevada Street, which is a major north-south uh, road, route, artery, whatnot. And give us a like, a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment, I love comments. I'm getting a little bit, uh, what is it, overzealous about the comments. I feel like I'm talking about them a lot, but I really do sincerely enjoy them and I'm motivated by them, so please share your thoughts and your impressions and your stories. Um, what else? Like, comment, oh, subscribe and hit that bell notification to get notif the bell icon to get notified about new videos. It is, I said it's a nice day because you can see that for yourselves. We are going to meander downtown. This is an exploration that I'm taking you guys on. It's pretty cool. This is the Grand Hotel, the something Wyndham Grand Hotel. And this is the Springs Orleans. Give you a better view of that. And this is going to be downtown. There may be another one downtown. And then also we'll go up to the north end and um, the Colorado College at a later time. So we're kind of excited about this. One of the, it is a Saturday morning, so it's, it is empty down here. And I found that in Greeley as well, even during the work day, <clears throat> on a weekday, it was empty and I suspect that's just the way things are right now. And uh, kind of nice because I can walk down the middle of the street and there's no traffic. I'll tell you what though, even though it's nice weather and the temperature is wonderful, uh, my, my hand's getting cold. Coming up on Tejon. Pardon me as I slip my gloves on, using my mouth as my other hand. Come this way. We're set up for outdoor seating here. We'll be walking down there at some point. Also, I think we're going to go down, continue west, and then we will uh, loop back to the south or the left. Like a lot of these Colorado towns and there's the Gazette, um, they have a lot of statuary and public art, which I really like. I'll give you a couple um, 
tidbits of information about Colorado Springs, but then I think I might just try to be quiet for a little while. And I hope you'll <clears throat> be okay with that. I'll mention things that I see along the way, but I'm gonna try and chat a little bit less on this one. Um, Colorado Springs is at 6,000, over 6,000 feet of elevation. <clears throat> it's home to, it's right outside of Pikes Peak, a uh, massive mountain in the Southern Rockies. And it is also home to the Air Force Academy. It's about a half million people. I've seen a couple different uh, numbers there and it's a major metropolitan area, second biggest city in Colorado, home to a lot of evangelicals. Um, it's, that's one of the things it's known for. And what else? Oh yeah, it started in that whole 1850s, 1860s period. There was a gold rush, Pike's Peak Gold Rush, and there, uh, and it was a, uh, like, I, this was kind of crazy too, that I didn't realize there were all these colonies that came out that I think were kind of utopian colonies and experiments. This is a cool uh, Pikes Peak Range Riders. I don't know what that is. I know that the Range Riders in Montana there's a group that does that for protecting livestock against predators. So living with predators instead of just shooting them. Legal, recreational marijuana is legal in Colorado, but um, the Colorado Springs metropolitan area opted out of that. So they do have medical marijuana dispensaries, but they don't have any recreational dispensaries, according to the article I read. This is, there are a bunch of hotels and restaurants and stuff. This is the, I think it's the Antler Hotel? Antler's Hotel. This is the first bank. Uh, usually there's a first bank of something. And then this is Northwestern uh, Mutual Bank. And then this is the Palmer Center Complex. So over here, Merrill Lynch and UBS and some other things. I don't know if you'll be able to see because of the sunlight, but looking back that way, you can see some of the older buildings. We're on Cascade right now and uh, coming up on to Colorado Street, I think, or south. This is the Wells Fargo Tower, apparently. I guess I got that wrong. Colorado Springs is also host or home to the United States Olympic Committee. In fact, and a lot of Olympians. And I was listening to NPR this morning. Yep, I'm one of those. And uh, they were speaking to a javelin thrower. See the mountains out that way. Uh, who has had to figure out a way to practice during the pandemic. It was kind of interesting and appropriate at the time because I'm coming down to Colorado Springs. The mountains are really beautiful too with the sunlight on them. confused by the crosswalk lights here. They don't have any buttons, but then they don't, <clears throat> don't seem to come on all the time.
This is the utility, Colorado Springs Utility Customer Service Center. It's an interesting mix of old buildings and modern buildings. Oh, well, look at that. That's the United States Olympic Committee building. Must have subconsciously seen that. Coming back to Tejon. There's some Humpty Dumpty eggs up here. That's kind of wild. I uh, saw one across the street too. Wow, there's a bunch of them. That's fun. Plaza of the Rockies. And then there's one on that curved corner across the way. duck down this way. I can't believe I didn't see that other building down there. Not sure what this building is. Looks municipal. Governmental. Sorry, governmental. Let me uh, haul out my phone, see if I can track down an answer.
Colorado Springs Pioneer Museum. Oh, that could be kind of interesting. I'm gonna go around this way. Sorry about that. This is the Gasper Law Group, but I think it used to be a chop house, or it is a chop house as well. That blue and green awning. And then over here is the El Paso County Sheriff. I guess that's the county. I should look that up. Obviously in the more modern section. I'd be curious to know the, the origins of this building over here, the museum. If you know, I'd l please uh, put that in the YouTube comment section. some cursing going on there. There are uh, a lot of indigent folks. Not a lot, but definitely noticeable. Really feel for them on this kind of weather. Living out rough. America, pretty building. You can hear the birds too, maybe. They are happy to have the sunlight out, I think. This street that we're headed towards is Vermijo. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then that's a federal building over there, the brown one. Uh, swing around here. We'll get a little distance to be able to show it properly. <clears throat> Must be nine o'clock. Must be a restaurant around too. It smells delicious. <laughs> Somebody's out here throwing a ball for their dog as well. I like that. Off to the left here. In my uh, Bozeman, recent Bozeman walk, I guess by the time this is posted it will be several weeks but um, there was some at the end at the Pete's Hill snowy Pete's Hill walk in Bozeman there was a um, Good job. <laughs> there was a couple of guys snowboarding in the Lindley Park and their dog came up and said hi yeah, sweet little dog and they somehow stumbled on the video. I'm not exactly sure how. I wouldn't have thought they would have been there kind of thing, but in any case, they said the dog's name was Ellie and said hi. <coughs> Excuse me. So that was kind of cool. Well, this is a cool statue over here.
almost Egyptian looking until you get up close. That must have been the El Paso County building. It says El Paso on it. El Paso County. So it must have been municipal. Or is that the right word for a county level? I'm not really sure. So this is Nevada Street that we're walking along. Some might say Nevada. over crisscross applesauce This is Cucharas, Cucharas Street that I'm crossing here. Kind of dead ends into these buildings and parking garage. It's a nice, peaceful morning. There's some older, I don't know if, I think that's just an alleyway back there. Some old garages and stuff. It's interesting. I do love a good alley. And we're coming up on Colorado Street again. It doesn't say street or avenue or anything else, so I'm guessing it's street. Seems to sound right. about the bumping. This is the post office over here. And I think what we're gonna do is go down a little bit past Pikes Peak. Cut left. And then return on that road uh, that 
we haven't walked on yet. It's got some cool stuff down there. It's the U.S. Army on the back of it. Statue is Winfield Scott Stratton. I'm going to cut back over. I'm not sure why I came down this side. This is Colorado Square. feel a little weird about these uh sorry about that filming in these denser areas because this is a bus station and uh, I don't like exploiting people Iowa Street. I think we're going to go down another block. No, I think we're not. We're going to go back just like I said. Oh, so I keep smelling these restaurants. Their breakfast being cooked. And they're wonderful. Med Cafe, I bet that's what that is. Oh, it smells like sausage and spices. Oh my gosh. That will make you feel hungry. Some lofts here downtown. <clears throat> it's a cool little building.
this. I gotta go this way. This is Bonnie and Reed restaurant. down here and then we'll loop around because I'm going to film this other section separately. There's a park up here that's kind of nice and then a whole road and I'm forgetting what the name of this road is that uh, has lots of nice interesting stuff. Went to Solar Roast Coffee this morning. It was very nice in there. Got myself a coffee and a scone. <clears throat> Coming up on Bijou, and I think this is Bijou Park as well. It's the, we're walking along Tejon. But looking at those, you'll see this park and these buildings in the distance. <clears throat> you can see why I want to go film over there, which I will do in the next video, I think. But of course, I missed the light. Excuse me, sir. But I can grab this light. So we'll loop around and come back to Tejon here in a minute. I'm just going to cross. A lot of people setting up, getting their restaurants organized and ready. Getting their music cranked up. Huh. Comic book store. Tattoo shop. This whole front range is full of people. It's a major, uh, almost continuous pop band of population, which is fine. Uh, it's just so different than what we have up in Montana, what they have in Wyoming. But you can see why, such beautiful mountains. And so if you were to go straight for, I don't know, an eighth of a mile, you would hit Interstate 25. This is the Hilton Garden Inn. <clears throat> I'm not sure what church that is. This is Cascade again. And like I said, we'll just go down a block. Kirk 
Kirkpatrick Bank. I've never heard of Kirkpatrick Bank. Pikes Peak Public Library, or the Penrose Public Library. It's that modern building over there. It looks like it may be part of an old, or an extension of an old Carnegie Library back there. All right, back to Kiowa Street. In fact, I think I'm gonna cross over so as to not be filming into the sun. a good alley over there. I've been um, wearing my mask but tucking it under my chin so that I can pop it back up uh, when I need to, but I keep forgetting. So that's kind of pointless. All right, back to Tejon. famous steakhouse. I've never heard of it. It's called Cowboys. I don't know what that is. The Gazette building again. got my mask on now. I took my glasses off because it was fogging them up. I still haven't mastered that. I 
admire people that have figured that part out. The Peak Twin, uh, or Twimble's Twin Peak Theater down there looks kind of cool. All right. Ooh, the perk downtown. That looks like another good coffee shop. Seems like the downtown area is waking up. Maybe I just got here a little too soon. Okay guys, I think that this sort of covers downtown, the primary downtown area. There's a lot here. It's very, uh, very clean and orderly and pretty. So if you get a chance, come on down and check it out. I'm gonna film again here in just a little bit to uh, show you that other Bijou Park area and north. And so come back in a few days to check that out. Give us a like, thumbs up, all that stuff, of course. Leave us a comment about Colorado Springs, the area, your stories, corrections. Constructive criticism is welcome. And uh, come back next time. Tell your friends. Until then, keep on stepping.